WTF Wacky Twitter Favorites! Hi, this is Melissa Fosley from Yorba Linda, California. For the past week, I have been following very closely what's been happening out there over at NBC as far as what to do with Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien. I see the fans are not happy, the ratings are down, and revenue dollars, even for the local news networks, are tremendously down. What to do? Um, contracts need to be held on to, but when it comes down to it, why aren't the fans happy? And the fans aren't happy because they're used to their routine. And the routine for over the past 17 years before Jay and Conan and Jimmy Fallon even came on board was that they were used to Johnny Carson, of course, and it took a long time for Jay Leno to actually hit the ground running. And it wasn't until he had the Hugh Grant interview when he slept with that prostitute did everybody start watching Jay Leno. And they dumped on David Letterman, and David Letterman went down as far as in the ratings go. Now you have Jay Leno over there at 10 o'clock, five days a week, but people want to see scripted dramas. They're not ready for that reality at 10 o'clock yet. So what to do? Well, so far from what I can tell and deduct from the many sources that I see on the internet today, it seems that they want to move Jay Leno right after the local news for 30 minutes and push Conan O'Brien to the 12.05 slot with the Tonight Show franchise name still intact. Now, I've read the letter that Conan has put out even apologizing for his hair, but his hair aside, he is not bringing in the 1135 base, which is usually, I'm sorry, I, I think the demographics are, you know, 50 plus range, and a lot of people don't get him. Uh, I know there is a lot of very loyal Team Conan fans there on Twitter, and making him the trending topic along with Jay Leno, and a lot of things have been going back and forth as far as this goes. Now, over on Twitter today, I've been following the tweets very closely, and I can say a lot of people are very upset at NBC. Let's go over here, shall we? Watergate Summer. Nobody puts Conan in the corner. Team Conan. NBC sucks. Marty Markin says, I should also mention that I once found Leno to be very funny. Early on, I actually met him once and a very nice guy. And one guy, Dustin Faber, says, Yo, Leno, I'm really happy for you, and I'm going to let you finish, but Kanye had the best interruption of someone else's spotlight of all time. Beans are done. Hey, Leno, you quit the Tonight Show. Stop making people feel sorry for you by saying you were canceled. So, the, uh, and then one other one that I like over here is Chris Faulkner saying, I predict that we will, as a nation, move from a red and blue states to Leno and Conan states. So there's this really great diversity going on over at Twitter right now as far as if you're a Jay Leno fan or are you a Conan O'Brien fan. As far as I'm concerned, put me over there in Leno's corner, call me old fashioned, call me whatever. My husband, by the way, loves Conan O'Brien, whereas I do not. So we'll have to see if this new idea of putting Jay Leno at 30 minutes after the news works. Honestly, I think it's kind of a great concept of him being 30 minutes only because Everybody just wants to hear his monologue, and after the monologue, usually people turn him off anyway. I have to honestly tell you that, Jay. You know, people hardly stood around for the musical guest at the last five minutes of the show. Now, like I said, who am I voting for? It has to be The Tonight Show. I will always have my towel, and I will always be on Team Leno. I just get him. Sorry, Conan.